Hey everybody, uh, Law of Signs. Uh, this uh, build, <coughs> excuse me, builds off our last lesson, Module 17.2 in our IM3 book, Integrated Math 3. So how can we use trig ratios to find the side lengths and angle measures of non-right triangles? Okay, so you remember from the last lesson, you guys, the area of a triangle, depending on which angle you're talking about, if we're talking about angle A, then it's one half the sign of the, the sides that are touching angle A. So here it would be B and C. If we chose angle B, then it's one half the sides that are touching these guys. I'm sorry, times the sine of those angles. Angle C, one half AB times the sine of C. You remember that? Well, the area of a triangle equals the area of a triangle no matter what formula you use. So that must mean that all of those um, equations or expressions are equal to each other. Let me move that up real quick, okay? All right, so let's multiply everything by um, 2 over A, B, C. And what happens is, is um, uh, things cancel out. Here are the B, C's cancel, the 2's cancel out in all of them. Here are the A, C's cancel, here are the A, B's cancel. And so what that does is lead us into what's called the law of sine. So given any triangle A, B, C, that uh, here the sine of A over the leftover piece A equals the sine of B over the leftover piece B equals the sine of C over the opposite side, basically, uh, which is side C right there. Okay, so what that'll do is help us find the measures of everything that we need to know when it's not a right triangle. Okay, so here I see uh, 35 and the side opposite. So we'll say the sine of this over, over 15 equals the sine of this over over um, this equals the sine of this over this. Well, let's get this first, a triangle. Triangles add up to 180, okay? So let's do that. So we get 107 right there, okay? So here's our, our two ratios we're going to use, and we're going to set them up to the one that has the angle and the side opposite, each one of them. So the sine of 35 over 15. I see it here and I see it here. It's going to equal the sine of 38 over S and the sine of 107 over over uh, T right there, okay? All right, now we plug these uh, signs in our calculators and we get these decimals right there. Then we can cross multiply, okay? And then uh, here we're going to, uh, well, let's multiply 15 times this and here's 15 times this. So when we do that, we get that and then divide by 0.5736 on both sides and we get about... You know, T is uh, 16.1, uh, whoops, uh, and uh, this is S, this should be S, I'm sorry you guys. So S is about 16.1, T is about 25.0, and it said find all the angles, so 107 right there, okay. All right, so find the unknown measures, and, and let's do keep going. So here we have the sine of B over 12 is going to equal the sine of A over A, it's going to, and those are two unknowns, so we won't use that one first, equals the sine of C over 15. So we'll use that one first right there, okay? And then, because there's only one unknown here, is that it's angle C, okay? So let's find the sine of 33, and then uh, we go ahead and cross multiply, divide by 12, and when we divide by 12, we get um, uh, 0.6808. And then this is where we do inverse sine, okay? So angle C is uh, uh, inverse sine of, um, of uh, that 0 0.6808. And we get about uh, 42.9. Okay, so if this is 42.9, remember the triangle is 180. So we can get angle A reasonably easy. And we get angle A to be about 104.9. One okay, so now we can do the sine of uh, 104.1 over a equals the sine of 33 over 12. Okay, and so when we cross multiply and divide, we get those kind of answers right there. Okay, all right, hey, how about this? You guys find the area of an equilateral triangle that has side length y. Okay, well, equilateral, there it is right there. If it's equilateral, that means it's equiangular, so that means all the angles are 60. And notice I'm going to label this A, B, C. It doesn't matter what uh, ones you do right there, but, but small a is opposite big A, uh, small b is opposite big B, and small c is opposite uh, big C right there. So we can use our, our sine um, uh, um, formula. So the area of the, it says find the area. So the area is one half AB sine of C. 
So we could have done um, BC sine of A, or we could have done uh, AC sine of B. I just chose um, uh, AB times the sine of C. It doesn't matter, okay, which is the 60 right there. So if we plug in 60, the sine of 60 is about 0.866. Well, where does that come from? Well, do you remember last year when we had um, uh, 30, 60, 90 triangles and 45, 45, 90 triangles? So <clears throat> I'd take this, you guys. But I want to show you something because the um, SAT people, uh, um, uh, state testing people, they, they love this kind of stuff. They want you to get the radical form of the sine of 60. So here's 30, 60, 90 triangles. Whatever side this is, we always called this x. This was x root 3 and this was 2x. So it doesn't matter. The ratios are the same. 1 root 3, 2. If this is 5, this would be 5 root 3. This would be 10. If this is 18, this would be 18 root 3. This would be 36, okay? So nice small numbers, 1, 1 root 3, and 2 will work for a 30, 60, 90 triangle. 45s go 1, 1 root 2, or x, x, x root 2. Okay, so the sine of 60 is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, root 3 over 2. So let's substitute that in there, root 3 over 2. And then, uh, so we get, uh, there's our, our equilateral triangle formula uh, for, for the uh, side length of y. All right, if you guys are in my class, I'm going to assign you that. Take care.